So today I did a Roblox fashion show and the winner of the fashion show was actually a Roblox score avatar. And that made me think, hey, how could I make a cool Roblox score avatar or make at least a somewhat bloody avatar? And because of new UGC stuff with, you know, everybody being able to make UGC, there is a lot of options we can take. And so today we are gonna be building one of the most perfect gore avatars. Now, we're gonna be doing this together, meaning that I'm also gonna be looking to make this avatar as bloody as humanly possible without actually changing it too much. And hopefully we can get a good before and after, but we'll just have to see. So let's go ahead and let's move over to the catalog and let's go ahead and start looking up some buzzwords for potentially some good stuff. So here we are inside the catalog and as you see, all of my suggestions are literally just Roblox blood, Roblox gore. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try, well, making the best thing. So there's plenty of options we can go here with. But first things first, we need to think about the basics of the avatar. So we need to get its general shape going. So instead of doing the blood stuff first, we're actually gonna start buying some skeleton parts here. So let's go ahead and look up skeleton on Roblox. Now, there are a lot of options you can go with here. You can go with either the entire UGC or the entire skeleton character, which I probably am gonna use because you can use whatever limb. You could also buy the pieces bit by bit. So if you don't wanna spend all your money or if you don't wanna spend 500 Robux on a skeleton outfit, well, you can just buy the individual bones. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start off and we're just gonna buy this. So let's go ahead and spend 500 Robux. Oh no. Oh, how much am I gonna have to do? Only 18,000, what am I ever gonna do? Developers, please sponsor me, I need more. Okay, and now that we have the skeleton bot, let's go ahead and equip it on my character. Now, here's the fun part. Um, the Roblox avatar editor never works properly for me, so cross your fingers, this doesn't crash. So I'm thinking we get ourselves a skeleton on our left leg. Let's see how that looks. Okay, hey, not so bad so far. Not bloody, nothing yet, but believe me, we're gonna get there. And why don't we go ahead and also do the skeleton right arm too? I love the avatar editor and how it definitely doesn't crash every time I use it. This is a multi-billion dollar company, by the way. They, the avatar thing never works. This game is for real actually crashing my Chrome. Come on now, please, please. My Chrome is crashing because of this. We'll be right back after some technical difficulties. Oh my God. All right, since the avatar editor doesn't work, um, here we are so far. As you see, honestly, not looking so bad. The next big thing we need to do is, well, add some blood to this because obviously, I mean, just just look at me. I, I am I am just skin and bones right now, but that's besides the point. So let's go ahead and look for some blood. All right, here we are in the blood category and there's actually a lot of options. So we're gonna go ahead and go through a few of them, but there's a few that I was actually eyeballing earlier that seems pretty cool. First things first, this blindfold band Bandage. Kinda looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and try it on. Let's see how it looks. Um, that that looks that looks completely garbage, but you know what? Hold on, we can we can make this work actually. This this could actually work. Hold on. We're we're gonna fix this. So we're gonna take off our shades and hopefully we can put on the bandage now and we keep the beanie. Oh yeah, now we're getting somewhere. A little bit of blood goes a long way. I mean that actually looks kind of sick. I might take off the AirPods. The AirPods aren't really uh yeah, they're not really cooking that much. Let's go ahead and take off the AirPods. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. That actually blends in perfectly. Okay, next step is we gotta get some blood in our torso area and we also need like a splash of blood down here. And luckily for us, there's actually plenty of assets for that. So let's go ahead and look for one. Oh, all right, here's one. We have, we actually have a few to choose from. We have blood vomit. That, that, that gotta be goofy looking. Yeah, let's go ahead and try this spilled ketchup. Halloween spilled ketchup. Yeah. Oh, that actually looks sick. No way. All right, hold on. Another 59 Robux is down the hatch. Oh no, the base plate covers it up. No, 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 no. Well, okay, well, when I'm running, you can see the blood splatter and I'm pretty sure each thing is gonna be like that. So we're gonna have to probably find a new game to really show off the avatar, but we're gonna continue and let's keep looking for some stuff. Fake blood drool. Okay, that, that sounds kind of good. All right, let's try it on. Oh, that looks sick. 
Okay, hold on. We gotta buy it. We gotta buy it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's coming together. It's coming together. Now, we gotta do something about our torso, and we gotta do something about our leg here. We got all the blood in our head, but we got nothing on our body, so we're gonna see if we can find a shirt that kind of has, like, blood stains here and here to show that the limbs have fallen off. So, the search continues. Oh, shoot. Okay, so here's one called Red Parasite Torso, and this one actually makes the torso look kind of bloody. I don't know if I mess with this one now. We'll come back to it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Let's continue looking at our options here. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, so this one's bloody arm bandages and it actually bandages with the bone. I didn't think it, it would do that. No, this is a definite cop right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and buy this. We're adding this to our avatar. Another 50 Robux down the hatch. Okay, so here we are looking in game and ooh, I think I think we're looking pretty good, but we need a t-shirt now. My entire torso is not bloody enough. You see, I'm bleeding out my face. I'm bleeding out my arm, but I need something on the torso. So maybe a t-shirt to put it over my hoodie would actually work here. So let's try it. All right, so we have three shirts. I'm gonna go ahead and try them all on and I'm gonna see which one's the best one. First one is this little claw one. Kind of looks cool. I don't know if it'll look cool on my character though. Oh, that is so badass. Oh my God, that is so good. Okay, okay, all right. How about this one? Ah, that one's cool, but... I think this one gets the job done a lot better, but yeah, that's just me. What about the last one? Okay, now the, now it's a debate between the first and the last one because it, the question is, is this too much or is this better? Honestly, I don't know if this is the unpopular opinion, but I honestly think that this looks better than this because this looks like a little bit too much, but this looks a lot more natural. So let's go ahead and add on to our avatar. This one's actually three Robux too. And honestly, that if you just want to do the t-shirts, the t-shirts are really, really, really cheap and you can get some really good t-shirts from this. So let's go in and try it out. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Now we are cooking. Okay. This ain't bad. This ain't bad. I think we could add a little bit more though. Maybe let's look for some pants. When I looked up pants, I meant like the standard Roblox pants, not whatever these are. Okay, we can try this one on. Let, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. My leg is yellow, and I don't know why that is. Maybe because my body color is yellow? I think I'm going to buy this one, but we need to fix the body color. Oh, my God. Okay, I think this is it. I think this cooks. This is a pretty solid avatar, but you know what? There's only one way that we can figure out if this is a really solid avatar or not. And that means that we have to go and rate my avatar. And if I don't get an, at least an eight, I'm going to cry. And if you guys have followed along for, for at this point, please show me what you guys have on my Discord. You guys can post it in the meme section or something like that. That would be amazing. I would love to see what you guys came up with here. But let's go ahead and go and rate my avatar game and let's go see what people think about my avatar. Okay, here we are in the game and let's go ahead and see what people think about us. I'm gonna guess your age based on your avatar. This guy, this guy says buggin' and he's literally a bug. That's funny. And is, is Freddy Fazbear exploiting over there? Oh my God. I'm gonna tell these guys to hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, here we go. It's my turn. Time to show him the fit. Hey, and I'm the top rated person in the server. Yo, let's go. All right, are they gonna get me right? Come on, 14? Wow. My ego is shattered and my day is ruined. Oh my God, called me 14? All right, this guy says, I rate your avatar with an honest opinion and not slender based. It's out of 10. Sick, what the hell is this guy? From Is that Jeff the killer? <laughs> what is this game? This guy said negative out of 10, just why? What the hell is that thing? All right, I'm gonna get up here so you can see the whole, the whole thing, the whole shebang. Give me something good. He gave me an eight. Let's go. That's a W right there, boys. GG. I will take it. I will take an eight out of 10. If you guys don't subscribe right now, Jeff the Killer will be inside your house. And yeah, send me your Roblox score avatars because I actually really want to see them. And I had a lot of fun making this. So if you want to see more avatar tutorials, let me know in the chat. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.